ladies and gentlemen we have the surging spring update coming soon to rise of kingdoms and today we're gonna go over all of the patch notes and i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions on everything but first what's going on guys cheers these patch notes came out a couple of hours ago it's 7 45 in the morning so i kind of just woke up and decided you know what let me film a video about this to let you guys know what i'm thinking about this new update okay but before we get into it of course about 69 percent of you guys are not subscribed so consider subscribing to the channel down below if you want breaking news for the new updates coming to rise of kingdoms now the first thing they tell us about here is the spring events coming soon the cattails dance their dance as the songbirds sing of a new spring our spring event series is about to begin and we've prepared a ton of fun events for you to enjoy first fisherman's fortune break out your tackle box for wonderful rewards await you among the waves so this is the fishing event that was alluded to or was hinted at months ago when they first revealed that we're going to be getting a big graphical update i don't even remember how long ago that was that was probably like october or something or maybe before then like it's been a really long time since we first heard about the graphical update coming to rise of kingdoms this is not that but it is something else that they mentioned in that video in that sort of behind the scenes look at the developers thought process okay I mean I guess it doesn't specifically say fishing but it says break out your tackle box so I'm a little bit concerned here because one of the things when I when they discussed the possibility of adding fishing to the game I was hoping that it would be like an actual like fully fleshed out mini game that was like a its own standalone thing within rise of kingdoms uh and it still could be that but it does look like it is kind of a sort of a seasonal event type of thing that we get, um, which honestly, we've been getting the same copy and pasted events for a while now. And so anything new here is exciting. Love it. But I hope that it's an actual like in-depth kind of mini game rather than just kind of like collect fish hooks from defeating barbarians and then donate them to your tackle box and your tackle box will get bigger over time right like that would be kind of a little bit anticlimactic i don't know we'll have to see I'm, I'm excited to see what this actually is the second point here is come into the garden collect trowels to tend your garden earn tons of rewards including bait for the fisherman fortunes event okay so i guess maybe i should finish reading this before i give my opinions because it's probably going to give me a little bit more a little bit more information and in fact um it looks like this will probably not be the typical event that we normally see so i'm excited to see what what fishing looks like i'm i'm really soaked barbarian incursion complete incursions to recover the commerce council's cargo okay soroli assault assemble your allies and take on soroli's ultimate battle i like soroli assault i'm a fan of that zenith of power gain power to win a brand new city theme now i feel like we just had the zenith of power for christmas right i guess they do have what we typically get three or four zenith of the powers every year so yeah i guess this would be at the appropriate time this would be like end of february so okay interesting i'm curious to see what the stats of that are going to be in search of wonders unearth valuable armaments to pave your path to greatness for this in search of wonders event we've added new formations to choose from and adjusted the number of times you can take part in the event the in search of wonders event is only open to kingdoms that are in season three or season of conquest race against time test your speed and strength in this event to defeat as many barbarians as possible within the limit so that is the spring events which is exciting i feel like we didn't really get anything for um for valentine's day because we had the chinese new year uh those kind of overlapped a little bit so it is what it is moving on here let's take a look at these new formations it says um added the testudo and circle formations and i believe if i remember correctly from a few months ago the testudo formation was going to be focused on shielding and healing that's what i believe if i remember correctly i don't think we ever got information about the circle formation so we'll have to see what that looks like when it comes into the game added new rare inscriptions rare inscriptions are between special inscriptions and common inscriptions in strength so this is also something that they revealed a few months ago they were planning on rolling this out so for those of you that don't know a common inscription is typically like three and a half percent attack or something like that and then a rare inscription is typically like 10 percent chance to you know increase the skill damage the target takes by five percent whatever you know those that's kind of like the differentiator in my mind at least i don't think they actually say on the inscriptions if they are a rare or a common inscription i actually hope that they color code these based on rarity that way we like know for sure what they are because right now they're all in white and i think that they're going to make common white rare 
blue and then legendary or special are going to be gold that's what i would hope that they would do here just so that way we kind of have a differentiator you will be able to find armaments with rare inscriptions and armaments for the two new formations in formation choice chests and random armament chests they will only be included in chests obtained from crusader achievements armament shops bundles and events that open after the update as well as both ongoing and newly opened lucerne scrolls so it seems that this will not, they it will not be retroactive so for example if i you know go into my items here this formation choice chest uh will probably not include the test dudo or circle formation right so it's not like i can save these until the new update they're still probably only going to have these choices here everything after the new update will probably include the two test dudo and circle formations and if i'm being honest with you guys um it, if from what we know about the test dudo formation that is probably going to be exclusive for garrison players uh and maybe they'll make the circle formations for rally players who knows right but i think for most players like I mean, we already have a 5% skill damage formation, right? And I just can't imagine that circle would be like completely broken in some other, like, I, I don't know this. I, I can't imagine that what I'm trying to say is free to play players uh, and low spenders. Like, I don't know if this is really going to change anything for us, right? Uh, for you guys, right? I, I mean, I'm, a, I would say I'm like a mid spender in the game. Um, I don't even think this is going to change anything for me. I think I'm going to stick to skill damage. That's just my opinion, but we'll have to wait and see. Armaments with rare inscriptions and armaments for the two new formations have been added to the reward list for traveling dispatches and other features. So you are going to be able to get your hands on these new formations in the same ways that we've typically been getting them over time. New guaranteed rare inscription feature. If you acquire 150 legendary armaments for a single formation, one of those armaments is guaranteed to have a rare or better inscription. We have also recorded how many legendary armaments each governor has acquired in the past. We will later be compensating governors with rare inscription armament chests via mail. So this is good. This is basically a pity system for your armaments. Um, unfortunately, it's for rare inscriptions instead of the special inscriptions. I would much rather the pity be for a special inscription. But regardless, um, this is good to see. The only thing that I'm concerned about here is i mean like first of all legendary armaments aren't that rare right like you're probably gonna get a lot of these just from doing your daily everything it does say rare or better so that is good to know i wonder what the what the breakdown is of probability there like um is it is there a 75 percent chance that you get the rare inscription and then a 25 percent chance of it being a special inscription or like, what is the breakdown there is it is it a 99 percent chance it's going to be a rare inscription and a one percent chance of special that i think really does matter um also does your 150 pity reset when you get a rare or better inscription? That's what I want to know because that makes a big difference as to how good this is. Um, I hope that it is a hard pity system that does not reset with each rare or better inscription you get. In other words, regardless of my luck, I would like to get a guaranteed rare every 150, right? That's what I would want as a player. I think that is the most player friendly way to do this. For example, the legendary chests have a hard pity system. Every 200 keys, you get a guaranteed reward, right? That is all the time, no matter how lucky those keys were, you're always guaranteed to get a reward choice after 200. Likewise, I hope that every 150 you will get a rare or better inscription regardless of if you've already gotten a rare or better inscription during that 150. I hope I'm making sense here. Moving on to bullet point three, new item for resetting an armaments transmutation chances. New item transmutation crystals. Whew, another, another currency. Oh God, oh, man, what are we up to like 23 currencies? I'm not even kidding. If you have already transmuted an armament, the maximum number of times you can spend a transmutation crystal to reset the armaments transmutation chances in season of conquest lost kingdoms that begin after the update transmutation crystals will be added to the list of crusader achievement rewards okay so here is my thoughts on this um first of all it looks like you'll be able to transmute or reset the chances for, for there's no limit right it seems like there will be no limit there's no no indication here that there would be also it looks like you'll be able to get these for free by just playing through kvk which is good to know i wonder if there will be bundles with that you know they, they could come in a bundle as well but here's the thing first of all good change right let me just be abundantly clear here good change because i have um armaments that do not have any remaining transmutation chances 
and effectively you know they're not perfect right like this has damage to barbarians it's trash if i want something better than this i have to throw this one in the garbage or put it on my second march or something like that so the fact that i will be able to redeem this and you know lock these two stats and continue rolling on the final stats um is good okay very good change i'm very happy to hear that however the in my opinion the correct solution to this problem would simply be to just remove the 10 transmutation limit right like when we sit back and ask ourselves what benefit does this artificial uh limit have for the players i can't think of one it's actually just frustrating right it's just frustrating that there's a 10 transmutation limit and then like that's it gg like you know so now there is a kind of a solution to a made up problem, right? Like again, the trans transmutation limit is a limit decided by the developers based on just, just that's what they just 10 is a cute number. Like I, there's, there's no, there's no logic behind that. It's just a kind of barrier or a frustration that the players kind of uh, bump up against. And so there is now a solution to that which is good but you're adding a solution to an artificial problem where you could just remove the problem and then you don't need another currency you don't need another thing it doesn't have to be more complicated right so good and bad right good and bad it is a it's that we're moving in the right direction but we're taking we're taking the complex route when we could have just taken the simple route of just don't have a limit because why is there a limit anyway it's just annoying like just don't annoy us and then there's no problem and then you don't have to deal with all this stuff right so again truthfully good change but you know kind of like what what where where are the priorities here like why why is this why is this the solution why is another 23rd currency the solution right um it's just another thing that a new player has to learn like what are transmutation crystals like okay like if i have to explain to a new player i'm like you gotta sit down okay you gotta sit down get a drink let's talk about the formation system okay so basically there's formations and then they each have four armaments okay and those armaments have three stats per armament and all the stats are random and then they could have an inscription and also if they are legendary with inscriptions you can transmute them but you can only do it 10 times and then if you run out of transmutations then you get it's like whoo -hoo, why are we making this so complicated like what's going on there bro anyway i think i've made my point here let's move on to point four it says state form travel and dispatch improvements before traveling or beginning a dispatch you can select three preferred formations if you earn an armament from traveling or dispatches it is guaranteed to be for one of your preferred formations this is so good this is so good travel and dispatch rewards will no longer include resource items or speed ups let's go the preferred formation feature will appear after the update once you have completed your current dispatches this is a big w boys this is a big w do you have any idea i'm sure you do because you guys play the game why am i clicking on the museum basically what they're saying is in the dispatches you're no longer going to have the dispatch quests for speed ups you're no longer going to have dispatch quests for resources and that's really good because a four hour dispatch you're wasting one of your dispatches for four hours for a building speed up it's garbage especially at end game right um so what they're saying is they're going to be removing that and also like getting 10,000 wood stone five minute research speed ups right apparently according to this update that is all going to go away and you will only ever get armaments from from travel and dispatch and also you now can choose three preferred formations right which is huge so not only are you going to be getting more armaments from both of these systems right because you're not going to be getting speed ups or resources but now you get to choose you know the three that you care the most about so that's that's actually amazing right because for me like i obviously always collect wedge formation right but it would be nice for me to have some arch formation as well because i run liu che right and i currently my liu che has the wedge formation because it's my wedge armaments are just so much better that the stats are so much better that it's it's worth it 
even though I'm missing out on this, you know, this does nothing for Liu Che. Um, everything else about it is so much better that it's, it's better for me. So now I can passively collect other armaments for other formations, right? So for me, I would probably pick Wedge. I would also pick Arch. And then what would be the last one that I pick? Well, it'll depend on what the Testudo and Circle formations uh, are, right? Those could be really good. And those are going to be included in this. So one of those two could be the third, or I could pick like, hollow square so that way i can start building up some formation some armaments for my sunset and lost canyon right your tank army in there would be good or echelon would be good for running trajan right um so this is it's really good this is actually a really good change i'm very happy to see this you know it, it's very important that you know in in resetting trend like again to be clear transmutation crystals and resetting the the chances good change but I'm a little bit like wondering why they went that route. If I'm going to point out my criticism for this point, I have to point out that my praise for this point, this is very good, right? This is very good. Now, do I wish I could just select the one formation I care about? Yes, I do wish I could do that, but narrowing it down to three, huge. This is huge. I'm very happy about this improvement. I think the armament formation system is moving in the right direction. We're getting a pity system with rare inscriptions that's great. We're going to be able to reset transmutation chances. That's great. We're going to be able to get more armaments for preferred formations. That's great. We're going to be getting two new formations. That's great. Overall formations and armaments are finally moving in the right direction. And that is, I'm so happy about that. To be honest with you, this is my least favorite system in the entire game by a long, a long shot. And we're finally getting to a point where I feel good about it. Okay. Or I'm feeling better about it. Let's say so huge W here. Thank you, Lilith. I, I, you know, if anything changes about this, if they implement this and there's something about it, that's bad, then we'll make a video about it. But so far we are definitely moving in the right direction. So kudos to Lilith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to the third bullet point arc of Osiris and Osiris league updates. Osiris league season eight is about to start. Get ready to fight tooth and nail over the arc of Osiris. Okay. Optimized delayed spectate mode for arc of Osiris and other related events. You can now view battlefield building information in delayed spectate mode, added playback controls, reduced overall lag in delayed spectate mode. Um, this is cool. Okay. New individual stats page for arc and related events. You can go to government profile, arc of Osiris, individual stats or campaign. Uh, to view your arc personal stats okay cool um so just some more optimizations here for players in arc and osiris league awesome next bullet point season of conquest improvements adjusted slash added certain crusader achievement rewards in the season of conquest path of greatness after the adjustment the total number of conquest coins you can earn from the path of greatness will be increased to three this is great increase the purchase limit of blueprints in the season of conquest shop you can now purchase two of each blueprint per season that is also good added a new legendary quality engineering accessory blueprint to the season of conquest combat shop you can visit the blacksmith to learn more about this accessory season of conquest changes will only take effect on march 5th or beyond okay so we're going to be getting first of all there's going to be a new legendary accessory for engineering i guess according to this which is going to be kind of crazy i don't know if that will change anything as far as engineering being still kind of a meme but everything else here is really good this means you're going to be able to get more of the blueprints that you care about that are kind of bottlenecking the iconic tier progression for you now i'm curious to know what achievements are going to be required to get these three coins which means that basically every kvk you're gonna be able to get one and a half blueprints right because each blueprint costs two coins you can get three per so that means you'll have to go through two kvks to get three blueprints right so very good stuff if you've been saving up your coins that's going to be good because now you can buy two of each blueprint also this will probably apply to the accessories and things like that so yeah overall this is this is probably a good thing i think the progression for those blueprints was a bit slow with the new iconic tier system so end of the day that's great and i'm curious to see what the new accessory is going to be for engineering peerless scholar changes and improvements the updated peerless scholar event will now include mock exams a preliminary and a final exam mock exams will not affect your qualification okay i don't i really don't care that much about this at all um final will take place every two weeks a point system okay do i care about this at all i don't actually care about the, i don't care about this at all uh this says nothing about new rewards right i'm gonna be honest i forgot that this even existed so okay cool commander story improvements added commander stories for juge leong ishida mitsunari and isong yay all right great 
commanders will no longer stand near hospitals or unit training buildings while waiting to speak to you added the option to exit conversations you've already seen before allowing you to claim rewards for the conversation directly thank you the more ways that i can skip dialogue in the game the better that's amazing i think what this means is we're going to be getting animated emotes for Juge Leong, Ishida, and Lee Song Ye, right? Like, I think what they're talking about is these dudes walking around the city. I think we're soon going to see Lee Song Ye, Juge Leong, and Ishida walking around your city. We don't have animated emojis for those guys yet, uh, which is actually interesting. I'm, I for, I didn't even realize Lee Song Ye doesn't have animated emojis yet. So it's about time. I'm excited for that. That's great. Uh, we already have emojis for, I think, all of these guys. So, like, these are probably just going to be all the animated ones for, uh, or they'll pick some of these, right? um for for Lee Song Ye. I hope we get this one where like the, the they're actually lit on fire I think that would be funny but we don't see any for Ishida and we don't see any for Juge Leong so those look like they're going to be new and possibly exclusive to animated so that's pretty cool I like animated uh emojis so that's awesome animated emotes if you will so sweet Alliance passed this and block list improvements added a new application queue okay I don't really care too much about this but the more that this is improved the better um let me rephrase that I do care about this but I'm not an Alliance leader so this doesn't really affect me if you are an Alliance leader you already know about this and that is great Silk Road improvements the action cost for troops to pick up drop supplies has been reduced from 100 to 80. um after your kingdom's end of season of conquest you have a chance to find sovereign keys okay perfect optimize visuals for certain effects and improve overall visual quality that's amazing I just got a new computer actually so this is going to be really big and if you didn't see my unboxing for my new computer then check out my second channel link down below other improvements optimize the jump to city bubble ie the bubble on the map that points towards your city I think what they're referring to here is this little uh green icon here where you click that and it jumps to your city I think that's what they're talking about here um having that be optimized is actually good I think there are some times where I'm like looking around the screen I'm like where is it but on PC you could just press the space bar and it goes back to your city so I don't know move the bubble closer to the edge of the screen to reduce the chance of accidentally pressing it oh okay added a new option to hide the bubble okay I guess okay so they're optimizing this in the opposite way that I was thinking I thought they would make it bigger and easier to see it looks like they're saying like hey you don't really need this bubble do you right okay so yeah that's cool I'm actually kind of glad to see that um sometimes it is in the way of things like very rarely but sometimes it is so that's good optimize the minimap display in all game modes optimize the minimap okay when selecting a kingdom from the kingdom overview page you can now see your current immigration cooldown time and kills have been changed to kill points on the special immigration approval page beautiful awesome here is the feedback button I highly encourage all of you guys to give them feedback what do you think about this update do you think this is generally good generally bad what do you think about this they uh, they are asking you they actually want your feedback and I'm telling you guys as somebody who is an associate creator for rise of kingdoms like they actually want your feedback actually now they don't want you to curse at them they don't want you to be toxic they don't want you to be obnoxious they want you to actually give genuine feedback what do you actually think about this tell them logically what you think do you think this is a good change do you think this is a bad change they actually want to know so please click this button guys give them your feedback I'm begging you I'm actually begging you to please give them feedback about what you think here um personally I think everything in this update is a W is it the best possible direction for the armament system no but is it close I think it's pretty close I think this is very close we are absolutely moving in the right direction new formations great it's more things for the whales to work on and spend their money on we have a guaranteed rare inscription feature which is great we have more ways to get your desired armaments for the formations that you care about that's great um lots of improvements here to a system that needed them desperately which is amazing and we have the new fisherman's fortune event I'm really excited to see what this is they put it at the first bullet point here so I'm it looks like they're excited as well um I wonder what the rewards are going to be could this be another way to get you know armaments possibly right possibly I have no idea I'm really excited to see this guys this is a overall I think overall W of an update right we're getting more season of conquest blueprints I think this is good let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below but of course definitely tell them your feedback by clicking this button okay so comment down below your thoughts also while you're down there of course drop a thumbs up on the video it helps out the channel a ton it'll get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video guys with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace